CSUN women's water polo was victorious over the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos, focusing on scoring early and then halting their offense in the Big West Tournament Conference. Northridge calculated the time remaining in the game and only allowed the comeback to a three-point lead with a final score of 10-7. Junior attacker Lindsey Nelson shined for CSUN against UCSB, leading the game in scores with three goals. Um, we know Santa Barbara's a really tough team, and we never like overlook them, and they always give us a good game. CSUN defense held the Gauchos off from making a comeback. Head coach Marcelo Leonardi attributes much of the team's success to sophomore goalkeeper Kiernan Davis, who had 10 saves in the game. I'll tell you, I think that that was the difference in the game. Kiernan has um, been, for the most part, consistent, but in the biggest stage, she not only had 10 saves, but she had the penalty block, which huge momentum shift for us. And Northridge struggled to boost a lead in the first half, but found their stride in the third period. When the Matadors were comfortable with their lead, they just held on tight. I knew, I knew we were going to keep the game, but it was stressful because I didn't want them to go on a run because we saw them do it with Davis yesterday. They, went, they were down by four at one point and came back to win. By playing ball control towards the beginning and going possession by possession, CSUN triumphed over UCSB and never looked back. Well, um, we're also facing uh, Santa Barbara, which I feel has one of the better goalies in our conference. And also, I did not want to rush our offense because Santa Barbara capitalizes on the counterattack and the transition. Nelson found a gap in the corner to score. At the end of the first period, it was 3-2. to two. We're coming out just looking to score early, get up quick, and hold it. Frantic shots found no goal for the remaining one minute of play before heading into the second period. A rally of goals between both teams kept the match close. CSUN scored yet again to bring the game 8-4 to four, heading into the fourth quarter. I know they're a fourth quarter team, so once they started scoring, we all kind of had to calm ourselves down and realize that we don't need to score any more goals, we just need to get defensive stops, so that's what we decided to focus on. Trying to come back with a power play in the fourth, UCSB had two failed attempts at Northridge's goal, with one minute and 33 seconds left. Well, it's really a big part of it is my defense. If I have my defense in front of me where they're supposed to be, um, it's easier for me to get a lot of box and, and you know, play to my standards, so it really was my good defense that helped me play well. CSUN had a lofty 13 field blocks, a record for the season, and Leonardi knew Davis was in the net awaiting any gaucho slipping through the cracks. Well, I felt that if we played a little bit more ball control at the end, um, we, we could give up some goals and still win, but I felt that we kind of got lackadaisical, and they, they were going to make a comeback. I knew that they were going to have an opportunity, but I felt that time was on our side. They didn't have enough time to score as many goals in order to win. Indeed, the Matadors had just enough time on the clock to get the Gauchos' hopes up and dash them. A CSUN stuffed UCSB, ending the match and taking fifth place in the Big West Conference Tournament.